Hello and welcome to the latest programme in the series that follows the trail of hidden gems as laid out by users of the Enjoy England website. Today I'm off to explore Whitby in North Yorkshire. Coming up on today's show, I delve into Whitby's links to Dracula. I take a trip down memory lane in the beautiful Robin Hood's Bay and I find out what it takes to prepare the best kippers in England. My first hidden gem comes from Sally Smith, who recommends travelling to Whitby aboard this historic steam train along the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. The line was first opened back in 1836. It's been used for a number of purposes over the years, including for the filming of blockbusters such as Harry Potter. Sally describes the train as a fun way to travel, which it certainly is, and you get superb views along the Esk Valley. But it also feels like stepping back in time. The locomotive hauling this train was built in 1957. Now, judging from the sheer number of comments sent in by you, the users of the Enjoy England website, Whitby is an extremely popular place. And I can see why. It has that classic blend of beauty and seaside charm. Whitby also boasts not one, but two historical celebrities. One was Captain James Cook, who set sail from here on what some say were the greatest voyages of discovery ever made. And the other, well, it's a story you can get your teeth into. Yes, Whitby is famous for that most terrifying of literary characters, Count Dracula. It's here in Whitby that Bram Stoker stayed while writing his novel Dracula. Hence, many of the storylines are inspired by the town itself. In one of the classic scenes, Lucy starts sleepwalking up the 199 steps to St Mary's Church on the East Cliff. Her friend Mina, concerned for her welfare, pursues her. Ken Thomas from South Wales says he climbed the 199 steps in the hope of meeting a vampire. There were none, but as he points out, the walk certainly sharpens the appetite. At the top of the steps, local Dracula expert Harry Collett picks up the story of Lucy and Mina. What in the story of Dracula happened here? Lucy is pursued up the stairs by Mina to meet you know who one of these benches here. But before Mina can intervene, Dracula bites the neck of Lucy, turning her into a vampire. Harry takes me to the historic Whitby Abbey, which dates back to 657 AD. So Harry, what's the significance of Whitby Abbey in the Dracula story? Well, Stoker came for some holidays in the August of 1890, took residency, and from the Royal Hotel where he was looking out, this was the backdrop that he could see. This enormous edifice dominating the town on the east cliff above the town. And I think that was just the entrance that uh, sparked him off to write his play, The Undead, which of course ultimately became the novel Dracula. Now finally, Harry, do you sense in this incredibly atmospheric, ruined abbey, a little sense of dread? Dread? Well, who knows what my kind of people. <laughs> and if those stories haven't got you too worried, there's a hidden gem that I want to share with you. You can actually sleep in the shadow of the Abbey ruins in one of England's finest youth hostels. With all that spookiness, I'm ready to blow out the cobwebs with a good dose of sea air. Nicola Ryle got in touch to say that her perfect day mostly involves the beach, but she also likes to take a boat trip, and why not? The North Sea is absolutely spectacular, and you get a great view of the coast. Now you can go on a fishing trip, a jet boat trip, but this is my favourite. She is the Mary Ann Hepworth, the former Whitby lifeboat. She was launched in 1938 and over the next 36 years saved over 200 lives. Since then she's been restored and instead of saving lives she enhances them by providing very agreeable half-hour boat trips. 
Plenty of you wrote in about the amazing fish and chips here in Whitby. Sally Smith, Nicola Ryle, Jonathan Daniels, Ken Thomas, Helen Smith and David Chappell. Can six connoisseurs be wrong? Let me find out. You can't fault the quantity here at the Magpie Cafe. What about the quality? Mmm. Delicious. I can see why this place got a recommendation from Rick Stein. But after a recommendation from a user of the Enjoy England website who didn't leave their name, we decided to delve deeper into Whitby's fishy flavours. This rave review said that Whitby has the best kippers in the country. To check this out, I've come to the Fortunes Smokehouse and Kipper Shop, a piece of culinary history. The owner of the shop is Barry Brown, who shows me the smokehouse where his family have been preparing the kippers for over 100 years. I think it's amazing that in the 21st century we're still using the same techniques and indeed the same premises as was used in the Victorian era. That's right, it's a proven way to do it. Uh, we're quite happy to keep it this way. If it isn't broke, don't try and fix it. Barry takes me into the main shop next door to the smokehouse for a tasting. There it is. There's your kipper. Well, it looks absolutely beautiful. Can I just take a, take a piece of, of fish here? Um, just falls away very easily, um, if I may. That is genuinely amazing. So much strength of flavour. I was thrilled when Andy Hayes wrote in to recommend a short trip down the coast from Whitby to this beautiful bay because I used to spend my childhood holidays here. It's good to be back. Andy particularly recommends a visit here at low tide when all the rock pools are revealed. In fact, he says this beach is 10 times more entertaining than any other. Joining me at the rock pools is Mark Kibblewhite, who's an expert on the North Yorkshire coastline. Now, one thing I never actually asked when I was here on childhood holidays was why is it called Robin Hood's Bay? Well, there are lots of theories, but as a Yorkshireman, my favourite is that Robin Hood was a Yorkshireman himself and actually used to come here to hide out with the smugglers. Thank you so much for all your extremely helpful tips. I had not realised there were so many dimensions to this very historic and beautiful area. I'll be back on the first train that I possibly can. Keep sending us your hidden gems by clicking on the forum and photos section of the Enjoy England website. If you'd like to know more about Whitby and the surrounding area, go to www.yorkshire.com.